you know yoga yoga sutras patanjali have you heard that name if you do yoga uh, like a famous scripture aphorisms on yoga practice and theory written 2000 years ago already uh, the second line in that book uh, sounds like yoga chitta vritti nirudha that means that yoga is a cessation like a decreasing the mm, destruction of our mind to make our mind one pointed to get uh, behind the thinking mind behind the thinking brain and that's actually what we are trying to do today uh, it will not be too much about the physical movement you don't need to be worried too much uh, about the form how you look uh, like in in the posture try to keep your focus internal uh, sometimes we call this practice moon practice because that's the kind of the energy that we want to get it's a female calming soothing nurturing energy uh, we will be switching from body to the mind and uh, try to imagine that a moon is not generating the, the light it's just the reflection of the light this is like, like our mind works and our mind reflects our soul our something internal like our essence and the brain the mind the thinking is like a, re a reflection of that light but the light itself is our inner essence our soul if you want to call it this way so try to be more inside close your eyes you will be doing very basic uh, things so don't worry about it too much and we will prepare ourselves for uh, Shavasana, where we will deepen that uh, sensation, that technique. We will start on our back, just lie down in Shavasana and relax for a while. The main intention of this practice is to stilling the mind. To really create an impact on our mind. To be still and calm. And to feel that inner essence, in yoga we call it Purusha. Something which never changes. That what we call that it's real. The only real thing the essence of our life. Everything else is changing. Our bodies, nature, everything around, around us and inside us as well. There is only Purusha, which is the witnessing principle. You can see your mind, you can witness your body. without judging. Find your breath, feel the breath like a waves in your body, rising and falling.
and slowly bring your arms over the head. The rest of the body stays still and with the exhale bring them back. Only the arms very light movement, very conscious. Keep going with the inhale, bring the arms over the head and with the exhale return back. Start counting the breath, inhale on four, exhale on four. And next round, the exhale is a little bit slower. Inhale four, exhale five. For two rounds. And synchronize the breath and the movement. So your body, the movement, the transition follows your breath. Slow down the exhale a little bit more. Deep and slow exhale. On six. You are not your thoughts. You are the one who watches the mind think. You are the witness, the observer, not affected by thinking and by your body. You are that one which watches your mind thinking. Now return the arms along the body, bend your knees and bring your feet close to your glutes yes close to your seat nice now with the inhale bring the arms over the head and push the pelvis the hips up and try to keep the exhale long if you get to six with the exhale stay on six exhale bring arms along the body and you can hug your knees As you exhale, bring the knees close to your chest, and then inhale, return back. Exhale. And stay like that, hug the knees, one breath. With the inhale, extend the legs up vertically, push through the heels up and bring the arms again over the head. Exhale, return back, hug the knees, bring them close to your chest. Inhale behind the head arms and stretch the legs up continue according to your breath just follow your breath move through these basic postures and try to be as much conscious of the breath of the movement as you can don't distract yourself don't think too much about it and lengthen the exhale even more if you can get with the exhale to seven or eight count, the inhale is still four or five, you don't need to worry about it. Exhale is much slower. And as you are shaping your breaths, as well you are shaping your mind. And last time, and then bring the feet back on the floor. Interlace the fingers under your body, 
bring the shoulder blades close together and push your hips and pelvis up and stay there in a posture for a while. Try to keep the exhale to eight count. Chin slightly off the collarbone, so you have a lot of space for the neck and for the breath. Deep inhale, push through your legs to get higher with the pelvis, with the hips. Exhale on eight. And now the moon, instead of reflecting the light, becomes aware of the light source. So instead of looking on yourself and thinking, try to find that essence. That's the witness or purusha. Slow exhale, quality of stillness and use the mind to look behind behind the thinking of your brain toward its source now relax down stay for a few breaths Then bring your arms again be, uh, behind your head, over the head, and stretch the legs vertically up, push through the heels. Stay there and try to keep the spine on the floor. Hold the posture, inhale four, exhale eight. Long exhale. Keep your eyes closed if you can and try to focus more inside, calming the mind, shaping the breath. And just be aware of any movement in your body, even if you blink your eyes or if you move your fingers, try to be aware of every movement in your body. Your nervous system is also telling you something as the vata and stability. The desire to move instead being calm. Now bring the knees close to your body again and hug them with your arms. Bring them close. And hug them separately, right knee with the right palm and left with the left. With the inhale, you can stretch the arms. Mm -hmm. And with the exhale, bring one knee close to the chest and close to the belly. And then inhale, bring it back. Exhale, you are creating the space for the knee, for the thigh, to get closer to navel, to chest, and keep the exhale long. That's the most important part. These are very basic movements, don't worry about it. Just try to do it as smoothly as possible and follow the breath. Inhale, natural. Exhale, on eight. Or any count that is still comfortable for you. That will not distract your practice and focus. And then release. Let the arms along the body stay there. Keep your eyes closed. Few breaths. Observe. Purusha. The inner essence. 
Try to get behind the mind, behind the limits of the thinking mind, to the state of calmness and stillness. You are not the mind. You are that which observes the mind thinking in the same way as you are not the moon, you are the light which lights the moon. Your mind is only the reflection, the mirror of something deeper. Move your attention to that deeper self, to Purusha. Now slowly roll over on the knees. You will go on fourth and you will be transitioning from fourth to Balasana. Again, don't rush. Be aware of the movement. With exhale, slowly release and sit down on your heels. With inhale, we transition up, Chakra Vakasana. And keep your eyes closed and try to move as consciously as possible. Again, without thinking, try to focus your mind internally. I know that's probably completely different experience that you have from yoga till now, but that's the best way how to affect your mind calmness. Of the mind, of the thinking. And the stability of the body, stability of your emotions are very much connected to that skill of seeing your own essence, contemplating on Purusha, the witness. You don't need to react all the time. Just observe it without judgment. Even your movement, even your breathing, don't judge it. Just be aware as much as you can. Now stay in Balasana for three breaths. Keep long exhale. And then we will kneel or sit for a few moments doing kind of pranaya, pranayama called Chandra Bedana. So sit down or you can stay kneeling, whatever you prefer. You will bring uh, fingers in between our eyebrows, two fingers. Then you can bring your thumb on one of the nostrils and the ring finger on the other. Uh, we will inhale through left and exhale through right. And we will keep repeating that. Always inhaling through the left, exhaling through the right. You can use the fingers to close one of the nostrils. Inhale through the left. And exhale through the right. Then switch again, inhale through the left and exhale through the right. Keep the exhale slow, don't focus on the inhale and draw the breath between those fingers that you are pointing between the eyebrows, like you guide the breath in the brain.
you can sense the moonlight calming, soothing, light that you can sip and get it through your nostril to your mind, calming it. This kind of practice is uh, a way of alchemical process using our body and through the breath, nervous system, through the movement, focusing our mind, we are trying to affect which is hidden inside. Now relax. Keep your eyes closed, sit down just for a few more moments. How do you feel? What has changed from the beginning of the practice? Just a few movements and attention, awareness. Are you present? Are you calm? You will slowly get up to a standing. Continue with some asanas. <coughs> 